Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft. For today we're going to be taking a look at Windows 10 build 17661 for PC. This build became available today for Windows Insiders on the fast ring and for Skip Ahead. And it's the first time that the same Redstone 5 builds have been available for both. Unfortunately for many Windows Insiders, just because they're now all on the same page doesn't mean everyone will see the same features. Some controlled experiments are still being done with sets, meaning not all Windows Insiders on the fast ring will be able to test it. Uh, if you are coming from this build from Skip Ahead, however, you will be able to continue testing it. All Windows Insiders will get to test out the other new changes coming with this build, though. One of these new changes is a nice soft blur effect in Task View, which looks nice but still laggy as hell. The Creators update brought lots of new experiences for Windows Inc, including a screen sketch in the Windows Inc workspace. This was great and all, however, it tended to feel a bit too far away for mouse and keyboard users to access. Starting with this build, however, a completely new app has been made from a previous experience called Screen Sketch. Screen Sketch is like a conglomeration of all the screenshot tools Windows 10 has had. By using the same old keyboard shortcut, Windows key plus shift plus S, a new snipping tool experience will appear. Instead of dimming out white, the screen will darken, and a toolbar at the top will let you change between rectangle, freehand, and window capture mode. After making your selection, some nice new animations will make it very clear what exactly was copied to your clipboard. A notification will then immediately follow your snip, which you can click on to make further edits to the selection you made in the Screen Sketch app. If even the keyboard shortcut is too much for you to remember, there are still a couple of other ways you can get to the snip tool. If you have a pen, you can set the clicker to open the screen snipping in the window settings. There is also an option in the keyboard settings that lets you use the print scheme key to launch a screen snipping. Finally, there is a new screen snip shortcut in Action Center. We've seen HEIF support since build 17.623 of the April update for Windows 10. If you aren't familiar with it already, HEIF or HEIF file format and HEVC, High Efficiency Video Codec, are new formats that can compress media much farther than JPEG while at the same time retaining more quality. A lot of new devices are starting to save images in this format. With this build of Windows 10, you can now rotate HEIF format images in the File Explorer by right-clicking on them and selecting Rotate Left or Right. Also, in the File Properties, you can even now edit metadata in the Details section. For some reason, the computer I'm using right now doesn't seem to want to recognize HEIF format images. However, I can assure you that my PC on the April update is able to open the same files in my OneDrive folder. Not sure what's going on there. This was a brief overview of some of the interesting new features in Windows 10 build 17661. You can take a look at the full list of fixes on our website on Microsoft.com. With all these new features, there are also quite a few issues. No, they won't cause your device to stop working, but you might encounter some undocumented bug that prevents you from getting some important tasks done. This has been a quick build update video with me, Cody, on Microsoft. Thank you, goodbye.